which will store uh, a metric shit ton. That's that's real measurement as well. Metric shit ton. Where the where is the sun? <laughs> where is that coming from? That through the ground. Yes, excellent. And then I thought, no, Timmy, you can't just call your ship butt plug. Welcome back, guys. So now that we've got platinum and uranium, we have a lot more options of what we can do right now. Um, the first thing I want to do is upgrade our tools. So let's go to production, tools. We can grab all the elite stuff. And I also want to create some of the exotic tech. Um, maybe just like, oh, I was going to try and make a hundred. Oh, I guess it's got split up between the four of them. Um, okay, so while we're waiting for that, um, I got a few things to go through um, because I did some stuff in, in between episodes. So um, I've written it all down here. I've added some new mods. Um, we've got a new ore distribution mod added, which makes all the ores um, a lot deeper and makes the deposits bigger as well and, and it puts certain ores in on certain planets so um that's what i, I should have added something like this from the start because i always like to play like that i've also added a ore scanner which will it's it's actually really neat so so what it does is it it it, it can only be built on a base it needs to be a static grid and it scans either a really wide area at a fairly short depth like 150 meters, or it does a um, a smaller area, like um, a, a kilometer, but it can go up to 1.2 kilometers deep. So that'd be really good for finding our um, our rare ores, like platinum and stuff, because they're really deep. And I've also added a new skybox, which is absolutely awesome. Like it completely changes the feel of the planet. Uh, and, and space as well, like it just, oh, it's so much better. The, uh, the vanilla skybox w was giving me the shits, like it just, like, it washes everything out. Like there's no contrast, it's it just grey, just everything is grey. Um, but the reason why I left it on is because I didn't want night times to be so dark that you guys can't see anything. Um, but this skybox doesn't do that. It, it has lots of light during the night time as well. So hopefully um, YouTube doesn't make it too dark. Um, it, it should be it should be pretty good. Okay, so the stuff that I've done, I've replaced the mining drone thrusters. The um, all of those uh, like tiered two thrusters we had on there, I've replaced those with our um, our new mod. And I've taken a new blueprint, so I can actually get rid of that mod now. I've also decorated the landing pads just with some lights and stuff. I did add a, uh, a staircase to the outside of um, landing pad 2 to go up to the, the new mining ship. I've also decorated the production room and I upgraded our refineries to the proficient um, tier. Alright, there's our tools. And I've set up Izzy to dismantle those proficient ones. Awesome. That feels good. Having upgraded tools. I think the next step is to upgrade the assemblers to the proficient as well. And then um, we need to we need to sort out our our mining situation because the mining drones no longer go deep enough. To, to get the materials that we need. We also need to find the deposits again. So um, the script that I added actually works on um, on saves that are, you know, current saves. So it's altered all the ore deposits that um, we had already found and changed them to, you know, be deeper and, and um, yeah. So we need to get a we need to get one of those scanners, I think, to find everything again.
Yeah, so I like this deposit scanner because it's 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 not too expensive, so it's good for um, before you get the upgraded ore detectors, um, but it's not as useful as an ore detector because it needs to be on a stationary grid. So if we have a look in here, we've got two modes that we can scan, either normal or deep. So if we go to normal, the scan range uh, changes how far out we scan. So if, right now we're going from zero to three kilometers and it only takes 500 kilowatt hours. If we go to medium, it'll go from three kilometers to 7.5 kilometers. Same depth, zero to 150 meters and it requires three times the amount of power and then we can do long range which is seven and a half to 15 kilometers at the same 150 meter depth and yeah three megawatt hours to do that but if we change it to deep this scan range no longer changes the um the, the actual scan range it changes the depth so we can only ever scan out to a kilometer but we can scan deeper. So that one's two, 250 meters. Then we can go from 250 to 625. And then finally 625 to 1.25 kilometers. So I, I really like that. I think that's cool. Uh, and we can't just detect all of the ores. We need to search for something in particular. So it sort of limits you, your use on it. And it's not. it makes it feel like it's not so overpowered. Um, okay, so we're just going to go normal. We, we need to find iron, um, shortest range possible. We, we want to find the closest. So let's start recharging that. And then once it's charged, we'll, we'll run a scan. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to try to continue on with this and make this look half decent. All right, how's that look? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, we've got some like some red up on the top there down on the bottom here that looks good yeah i like that all right that looks cool there we go the uh the scanning room <clears throat> oh i was supposed to be scanning while i was fucking around with all this shit we need a better way to interact with this Okay, so we are charged, we're looking for iron, shortest range, start the scan. It shouldn't take very long because it's a, it's a small scan. And then if it finds something, we can add the GPS for it. There it is, 671 meters away. Add GPS. And we'll start that recharging. So there it is right down there on the ice lake. Uh, weather's terrible. Yep. Let's see how deep it is. About 130 meters. All right, cool. So I need to come up with... Um, oh, shit. I need to come up with what I'm going to do with... Because um, this this type of like deep ore stuff, it sort of plays in with making um, mining outposts a lot more viable. And that's sort of the gameplay that you would lean into because the ore deposits are very big and so you, your structure would be there for a while um so it'd be worth you know building a proper mining outpost there or do i want to keep going with the mining drones and um just have them dig 150 meters down um I don't know, the the drones were cool for when the the deposits were small and not very deep. Uh, I kind of want to build mining outposts now and then perhaps use drones to ferry the materials back to our base. Um, okay, so I've been I've been watching a few YouTubers. Um, I've been watching Mad Maven and his No Suit Survival series. 
uh, the Garage Gamer for his Wasteland Survival series. And recently I found a relatively small YouTuber that goes by the handle Lenscap. And he's doing a series called Planetfall. Now he's also running a mod that um, buries his ore deposits really deep. And in one of his recent episodes, he had a very clever way of getting down to it. He essentially built a mining outpost, but instead of drilling down to it, he was dropping warheads to dig down to it. And I thought that was really clever and it looked really fun. So I, I kind of want to try that. And then we could use mining drones to fly down that channel and actually mine out the resources. I think that would be a really cool way to handle it. So if we're going to do that, I'm going to have to design a new mining drone. Something that's capable of drilling horizontally. Uh, my game just froze. <laughs> yep, it just crashed. All right, we're back and it looks like we got a little bit of a rollback. I completely forgot what I was uh, talking about. I think it was something to do with the miners. Um, I, I think we're going to go with atmospheric and horizontal. Um, if you want to check out any of those YouTubers I mentioned, I'm going to put the, the links to their channels in the description. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is um, I, I put out a like a teaser screenshot of this thing and asked for a, a name for it. And <laughs> almost immediately I got the, the best suggestion uh, for anything related to my my type of building this thing is the dildozer there's there's no there's no better name for it that that is what this thing is the dildozer so thank you very much for the, su the suggestion uh i think it was nate that suggested that oh, i'm i might be wrong i apologize but yeah it's absolutely perfect <laughs> perfect name thank you Okay, so eventually I'd like to get a, a mobile base happening. Uh, I've never done that in Space Engineers before, and I think it'll be fun if my computer can handle it. Um, and in order to do that, I think we should have a, a, a space station or an asteroid base to actually build the, the carrier, because I don't want to build it in gravity and then have to try to lift it out of gravity. So that's like an end, end game goal. A really big ship that um, I'm not going to have any any sub grids on it. It's just going to be a really big ship. <laughs> okay. Um, another thing I, I want to get into again, now that we have upgraded welders, I want to get um, a welder ship, uh, probably a grinder ship as well. And I'm going to limit my use of Bob. So I'm going to try to make it um, that I have no more than four Bobs in an area so so bob will be really good at maintaining repairs and stuff like that and if i like place down a single block or something he'll be able to weld it up um but i i don't want to use him to um to mass build things so if we have to like print off a ship or something i want to use welders and and a welder ship the only thing that was holding me back on that is the fact that the vanilla welders are absolutely garbage. Um, so now that we've got upgraded ones, I, I yeah, I really want to get into that. I, I, it's so satisfying to use a welding ship to, to, to weld something as opposed to Bob. The most important thing I think right now is going to be the ice mine. Because I've I've taken um, I've taken the dildozer out a couple of times to get ice. Um, I've probably gone through over 10 million 10 million ice, and all it's managed to do is fill up the dildozer and give us 59 or 49 million liters of hydrogen, which sounds like a lot, but at the rate we go through hydrogen, it's it's really not. So I want to get an ice mine up and running, um, and I want to upgrade our, our assemblers. Have I got building materials on me? Yes. Yep, we're good to go. Let's go down into the production room. 
Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother spending too much time detailing this this place because I want to move. Like it's simple as that. Um, all right, so I got to find a way to um, essentially uh, attach these modules because I don't have to replace them. So I'll just attach all these modules to the wall. Um, make sure nothing's going to fall and then we'll remove these assemblers and replace them with the proficient ones. I could technically um, go up to the elite ones but I don't think it's needed right now and I would rather save our elite stuff for components that really matter like um, thrusters and batteries things like that. So let me get started on this and we'll bring you back all right so uh this guy actually uses 11.2 megawatts of power if we have a look at the other ones <laughs> the the vanilla ones with all speed modules it's 2.8 megawatts yeah so if we get four of these bad boys we're gonna be chewing up a fair bit of power but they are extremely quick um yeah so i think it'll be worth it but now that we've got one up and running, I'm going to remove the other three all in one hit. Uh, I just didn't want to get into a situation where we needed to craft um, some components and I've disassembled everything. Um, which is something I did with the refineries because I removed all eight of them. And uh, yeah, then I needed to <laughs> manufacture some ingots and I couldn't. I had to put another refinery down. Wow, look at those steel plates go. Holy shit. That is amazing. <laughs> Love it. Alright, that's cool. Let me get rid of this uh, framing that I've got. We, we don't actually need that anymore. Um, okay, so the next step is an ice mine, I think. I think we want to do an ice mine. Um... Oh, actually, if we're going to be building a, a, a separate outpost, we probably want a welding ship, right? All right, a welding ship. Let's do it. Another thing I need to do, I need to write something on the board because I've taken the dildozer up a couple of times to get um, gold and I have nearly died <laughs> several times because there's no fucking oxygen on there. All I need to do is add, an, add a vent in there. Add vent to dildozer. All right, we're back. Here is the welding ship. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of this tail, but <laughs> I, I don't hate it enough to rebuild it. So yeah, we're, we're just going to, we're just going to stick with it. Um, so I've tried to keep with the same style that we've been going with. So we've got a lot of use of this, this beam all throughout the build, uh, same color scheme as well. Now I've set up this projector here so we can print off another one because I do want to have uh, a grinder as well. Um, I'm not sure if we really need one right now. No, I think I think what we'll do is we'll we'll set up a landing pad for this guy and get it loaded up with materials and take it out to the lake and we'll start building uh, the ice mine. All right, there we go. That looks good enough, I think. All right, now this thing is extremely zippy while it's empty. It's um, it's actually quite scary. But we kind of need the extra thrust for when it's fully loaded. All right, there she is, all loaded up.
There we go. Okay. So all I've done is um, I've made the inventory of our little welding ship uh, invisible to Izzy. So once the welding ship gets all of its resources, the um, assemblers will start restocking that. Um, so it, it gets, to, basically the welding ship doesn't get counted. All right, so we're fully charged. Let's turn thrusters on. And uh, we'll see how we go. So we weigh uh, 281 tons. And it moves <laughs> pretty damn good. So we can move around on a lot of different angles. Um, obviously, we can't go all the way over because we have no up, upward facing thrust. Um, but yeah, this this would be good. So I'm thinking we just we just start the the mine out here. I don't think there's anything out here, like all all wise. All right, so that's that's 50 blocks from this point here to the end. So if we add that sort of a diameter, I think that'd be a good start anyway. All right, three blocks for the drill, two blocks for the first piston, two blocks for the second piston. Then we're gonna need a rotor or a rotor at the bottom, either way. Um, then we have the frame. And I'm not going to use any special drills. This is going to be the first level. I think we might actually do like the main hub on this side. Because then the drones won't need to worry about dodging any of the frame over this way. Um, we'll have like the landing pads at the back here. Oh, I lost all my frames. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so we'll just have the... Let's have the landing pads right on the edge here so they the drones never even have to worry about the structure itself all right here's here's what i'm thinking all right so we've got the conveyor coming through here it's going to be surrounded in in armor we'll, we'll make this like a, a tube and then this section here is going to be like the maintenance tunnel this is where all the piping is going to be i think it'll look really neat we're just pipes running everywhere. And then on the next level up, we're going to have all the hydrogen tanks to store our hydrogen. Um, possibly um, the production area as well. Not in with the hydrogen tanks, but it'll be on this sort of a level. And then finally, we'll have like the control tower area on top. So it'll have like a living quarters and stuff. Um, yeah, and, and an observation deck. I, I want to make sure I get the observation deck out to the side so we can actually get a view of the drill itself because if we have it right in the middle, you're not going to be able to see a great deal um, because all you're going to have is that beam there. But if we have it off to the side, you'll be able to see the, the drills and... Um, and the piston and everything. I think that would be really cool. So I've been working away on the ice mine and I just came back to get some more hydrogen. I'll show you what we've done. So I sort of built out the middle section and a support frame on the end. It looks a little weird. And that, uh, Definitely suits my my kind of build. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've just sort of been trying to weld up what I've got here. So that should get us a decent amount of ice, I would think. Um, I really need to start... Stop progressing 
procrastinating and actually get the infrastructure in. My issue is I don't really know what I want to do with it, so I'm sort of just avoiding it and doing other stuff. Like it might be nice to have sort of like a a brace that comes down this way and links up with the legs. Because at the moment it looks kind of weird. Um, I don't know, just because this section drops down. Yeah, there we go. Does that look? Yeah, it looks better. Now I just need 14 million steel plates. All right, I think that's all welded up. All right, let's work on this. So, um, we could have some stairs in this area going down to this um, production level. So, we'll leave this little cutout here and there's gonna be observation deck on this side and then there's gonna be a living quarters on this side or other way around. I don't know. Um, this would just be a communal area here. So maybe we should have um, a landing pad out here and that'll be for like civilians and stuff coming and going. And then the actual freighters will land down here. We don't really need a great deal of space because we're going to be using um, upgraded blocks. So, for example, our hydrogen tank, we can actually use the Elite version. Which will store a metric shit ton. That's, that's real measurement as well. Metric shit ton. It is, um, it's a lot. So yeah, we'll just use a few of these. Uh, and same with the O2 H2 generators. All right, we're back. I am finally done. And uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. As you can see, we have one iron left. Yes, that's right, one kilo of iron. <laughs> Luckily I'm finished. Um, sadly, I don't think 42,000 steel plates is going to be enough to build a proper iron outpost. So we might have to just, um, I don't know, maybe take the dildozer out and, and get some iron and then build an iron outpost. Um, we are running out of hydrogen as well. Uh, if we have a look at tanks, uh, this is on the dildozer. This is the only place we have hydrogen. Tank 8, empty, 7, empty, 6, empty, 5, empty, and I'm just unlocking <laughs> number 4. So yeah, we've got to get this uh, ice mine up and running. Let's go and see what I did. So we've got four uh, drone bays and one civilian. That's what the uh, lettering stands for. I have no idea if I'm level or not. I'm just going to land, whatever. All right, cool. So it's all painted um, and I've got lights. Where the, where is the sun? <laughs> where is that coming from? 
the through the ground yes excellent yep so full full lighting i i could have put a bit more effort into it to be honest um but I, i've i've really got to get this episode out i know for a fact that i have way too much footage for this episode is that painted silk oh my god uh, okay, the base only has two minutes of power left, so let's uh, let's hurry this um, this up. All right, so the um, this is the civilian side. So we come in. Um, we've got a little kitchen and a table which isn't fully painted. Oh, come on, Timmy. Okay, so yeah, we got a little uh, office space, a little desk here, and decent view, I think. We go upstairs. We've got um, we got two rooms in this place, fully decked out with uh, their own armory and locker. Unfortunately, I couldn't really do much with the colours up here um, because I didn't uh, I didn't really think about it. Um, but this this is actually the ceiling of the floor below. So yeah, and I wanted all this white. Because ideally, I, I would like um, I like having dark floors and and light walls and ceilings. I don't know why it just I don't know that just looks good to me. So yeah, it would have been nice to do the same up there, but we can't. But that's all right. I'll uh, I'll learn that for next time. Um, you know what? I I guess I could go to all the trouble of placing these everywhere up here and then I could actually have white up here and then change this change this to the the dark color but whatever oh there goes our power um all right let's jump start it <laughs> we've really got to get this thing up and running um Okay, yep. So, then you've got um, this walkway. Actually, this can go now. Oh, damn, I didn't think about that. I've painted something underneath this. All right, well, we've got some some dark red uh, carbon fiber. It's uh, It's a rug, all right? It's a rug. Yeah, a bit of a window. This is like an in interchange between the civilian side and the industry side. What, why is this silver? Why am I finding all these blocks that I've just randomly painted? All right, I think I think that's it. Yeah, so there's not much of this place. We've just got um, a couple of programmable blocks and a couple of timer blocks because I know I'm going to need them for the drill. We do have our observation area that I said we were going to have where we can see the drills and it's at a slight angle. So we're not obstructed by the support beam there. And then we've got the same little uh, work area, except these have like control stations instead of just desks. So if we come out the back, this is just the, uh, the same place. But we can go out the front and we've got a little catwalk stairway system that goes down we can go down to the actual production facility so in here we have our hydrogen engines that's how we're going to get our power there is no batteries on the base we've got um these are all elite by the way so top of the line spared no expense <laughs> he's uh yeah we've got um i think it's 12 12 h2 generators that should uh, that should see us through, I, I would hope. And then out here at the back, we've got five elite hydrogen large storage tanks. I think, yeah, out here looks really good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out with all the support beams and everything. Really nice. 
And then, yeah, that's how the, uh... That's how the docks are connected, just by some spindly beams that I've just thrown together. Um, if we go down here, I don't actually have any lighting down here, unfortunately. I didn't, as you can see, I didn't really spend much time on it. <laughs> I didn't even finish painting it. <laughs> but this is the, uh, this is the piping network. This is where all the all the pipes come from, uh, all the hydrogen tanks, uh, and they all go into the generators. I I could have done the piping a lot simpler, um, but I I wanted this layout. I specifically wanted it to look like a whole bunch of pipes all joining up, and you know, because I wanted to make it, this place look busy underneath here and that's that's really bothering me look there we go that's better okay and uh yeah there's nothing out there but i did actually build a pathway along the top of this i i thought this would be really cool that you'd be able to run across all the way to the other side um, I got a little bit through the uh, the build and then realized that I didn't have a storage container for the drills. So that's what I put on this side. We've got some stairs that goes down here. And there's the... Uh, it's, it's an elite large storage container. 3.375 million liters of storage. That's the only storage we've got on the base. But I think that'll be enough. Yep, so I've got these stairs going all the way down to the ground. Admittedly, I could have spent a little bit more time on this side. And because there was plans to expand this out. But uh, I'm waiting till we start the drills so it marks the circle. And then I can actually start building the circle around it. Because I, I want to put a frame around it. I think that would look really cool. But uh, enough of that. We are wasting power as we speak. And I've got to get this episode done. And I'm not going to end it before we start those bloody drills. So the first thing we want to do... There's a, there's a cargo filler. Yeah, cargo fill triggers. We're going to run this script, which will allow us to trigger a timer block when our cargo space reaches a certain certain percentage. So that's how we're going to stop the drills and then start them up again if we, we you know if we've got too much ice. I don't think it's going to start it automatically. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll start the drills. There it goes. I think those pistons are going way too fast. Wow, are you serious? We've we've already used thirty seven percent. Okay, well at least the ice is gonna last us a while. Like this this drill, I mean. Uh, let's have a look at the tanks. The tanks are doing all right. We're up to two percent already. Yes, awesome. We've got fuel. We've got no way to transport it, but we've got fuel. God damn it, They're, those drills are going to get stuck. Alright, we have to reverse the pistons. It's 
So that's how much we drilled out and we filled that elite storage container. Well, it's got 90% in it. Seven and a half million ice. Oh, by the way, I need a name for our Atmo welder. So I was thinking, um, cause I really like the, uh, the dildozer, like that sort of, um, theme, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I thought, well, okay, so what does the welder do? It plugs holes, doesn't it? Plugs holes in, in, in walls. Okay, I'll just call it butt plug. <laughs> and then I thought, no, Timmy, you can't just call your ship butt plug. It it needs to it it can't be so blatantly obvious, <laughs> right? So yeah, I don't know. I I'm I'm not snap smart enough to to come up with something. So I'm leaving that up to you guys. Uh, we need a sort of a, a crude um, funny name for an Atmo welder. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the uh, in the comments of uh, everything we achieved this episode. God, it's going to be a massive episode. I, I apologize if this video is uh, too long. All right, but I'm out of here. I got, I got a iron mine to bloody make. Catch you later.